It's just incredible to have, say, a Taurus, a Lakota, a Panormo, a Hauser one, a Friedrich, a Fleta one, Hauser two, these incredible guitars right downstairs. Hey everybody, David Tannenbaum here, speaking to you from my studio in the Ann Getty Center at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. And it's the fall of 2022 and we are back to in-person lessons and very excited to be with real concerts also. So I wanted to tell you a few things that we've been up to lately. First of all, SFCM has an amazing new building. I think it's a $200 million building that has dorms for the students, two new concert halls, and one of the best recording studios in all of California. And the two concert halls, one of which overlooks the city, are really, really good for the guitar. So we now have five concert halls that work for guitar in this building, or in the two buildings, I should say. We have our new professor, Meng Su, who has a robust new class of 12 students in her second year. So we're very excited about that. And we have a residency program now where we have a resident guitarist come be with us for two weeks a semester. And during that residency, the artist teaches each of our students a lesson, does a master class, coachings, attends a student recital, just various activities on campus. And that resident guitarist has been Sergio Assad, and he will be with us in the fall. And then in the spring, in his place, will be David Russell in the last two weeks of March. So we're excited about all that. And we often have a lot of activities going on. In fact, Sergio, who's been associated with the school since 2006, turned 70 in December. And so we're going to run a festival in his honor. That's going to start with a concert with the Omni Foundation, which has, is the longest uh, producing guitar series in the United States, run by Richard Patterson. He will produce a concert on November 5th with Sergio and his daughter Clarice. And then Sergio will give a master class on November 10th. On November 14th, my excellent colleague Mark Teicholz will play Sergio's chamber music, two big pieces for guitar and string quartet and one for guitar and cello. Then there will be a student recital on November 16th, where many of the students will play Sergio's music, coached by him. And finally, a big birthday concert on November 19th. And that will be in the main concert hall. It will start with my wonderful colleague, Scott Camille, who heads the pre-college, conducting his San Francisco Conservatory of Music Youth Guitar Ensemble. And there will be two other guitar ensemble performances, both the group here uh, in the collegiate and then one made up of various members of the community here, many alumni, in a piece called Wednesdays at Sugar. And that's a piece Sergio wrote for us to depict the Wednesdays we would have after teaching at the bar Sugar on Hay Street. And it has 11 different plucked instruments. Only four classical guitars, but there's an oud, an arch guitar, baroque guitar, and many others you'll have to just come see. So we have lots of special events going on like that and master classes. And now let's talk guitars a little bit. We have two separate guitar collections at SFCM. One over 20 guitars lives in my studio here. Um, and that basically consists of guitars that were donated to the school. Sort of field of dream stuff. If you build it, they will come. So alumni, friends, benefactors have just given us these wonderful guitars. And students can use them for the semester. They simply put a $30 deposit down and get that back if the guitar is in good condition when, we, when it's returned. So we have four Rubios, we have a Smallman, we have a Connor, a Cannon, a Volwinkel, uh, an Arebe Flamenco guitar, and many others. Um, this is a Perelman guitar on a stand prototype built by an alum of ours named Travis Johnson. There's another guitar collection which you may have heard of, which is unique in the academic guitar world, which is the Harris Guitar Collection. We acquired that in 2019, and John Harris is the active curator of that collection. And it's incredible. It, it is really a playable collection of guitars in great condition from the last 200 years, starting with 
really Lacotte, which was Soar's guitar maker, and coming up really till very recent guitars by Pepe Romero Jr. This is just incredible to have, say, a Taurus, a Lacotte, a Panormo, a Hauser one, a Friedrich, a Flata one, Hauser two, these incredible guitars right downstairs. And we have a Taurus. So if I have a student who's working on a Targa piece, they might be looking at the poster of Targa on my wall there, where he's smoking a cigarette and playing his second era Taurus. And this one was built right around the same time, and we can go down and play, say, Capriccio Arabe on that guitar. So we're working on more and more ways for the guitar students here to access those guitars. John Harris comes and does sessions, sort of historical ones, where he talks about the guitars and their place in history. And then we're working on students being able to record on these guitars in our halls, which is pretty incredible. When we unveiled the collection, Pepe Romero came to the ceremony and he said each of these guitars is a teacher. And I think he was just right on about that. There's a lot of other activity that goes on. We have many guitar classes. Um, there's a cycle of guitar history and literature taught mostly by Richard Savino, who was our early music um, plucker, we could say, early music guitar person. Who I, We have a collection of, of a vihuela, a Baroque guitar, a couple of Baroque guitars, um, 19th century guitars, um, Baroque, uh, Baroque lutes, Renaissance lute. Um, and so Rich teaches one semester of Renaissance literature, one of Baroque literature, one of classic romantic literature together in a semester, and I teach a modern uh, literature semester. And he also teaches something called historical plucked strings, where four guitarists are admitted by audition to work on an early instrument with him weekly, and then they can be admitted into the Baroque ensemble and get that experience as well. There are many other classes. We have a rigorous ensemble program. We have a cycle that's going on right now where Mark Teicholz is teaching transcription and arrangement. He will in the spring teach technique and sight reading. We have a pedagogy class, which will happen next fall. And Rich teaches a whole class of continuo for classical guitar players. So there's a lot going on. There's also even uh, a composition for guitar class that's taught by someone who's a composer, but also is a guitar alum named Stefan Quick. So much going on. We're really excited about all these activities. Why don't you join us?